All right, thanks for watching. And today I will evaluate an integral that seems almost impossible to solve, yet I will solve it using the power of math. And in other words, let's, today let's solve for the antiderivative of arctangent of square root of x. And you'll see it's not as bad as other integrals you may have seen. So, let's start. The thing is, arctangent, it's very easy to differentiate. And when a function is easy to differentiate, it usually calls out for integration by parts. But how, you may say, well notice, the integral of arctangent of square root of x is the same as multiplying this by 1. So 1 times arctangent of square root of x dx. Which means that, because this is easy to differentiate, this is a good function to integrate. So, again, let like du be 1, v is arctangent of square root of x, and therefore uh, u equals to x, and dv becomes, again, 1 over 1 plus square root of x squared, and now we want to use the Chen Lu, so times 1 over 2 square root of x, which becomes 1 over 1 plus x or over times 1 over 2 square root of x. And then we get that the integral becomes, so as usual, so uv, so x arctangent of square root of x minus, okay, you have to be careful here, integral of 1 over 1 plus x 1 over 2 square root of x, but then you have to multiply this by x, which becomes a kind of simplified. This is x arctangent of square root of x minus integral of square root of x over 2, 1 plus x dx. And so this part is taken care of. This we have no idea how to evaluate, but it turns out, um, and you'll see why in a second, it turns out here substitution is pretty useful because sort of the idea is the derivative of square root of x is 1 over 2 square root of x, and this sort of is like square root of x squared, so maybe this will help. So step two. Let's use a u substitution. So u equals to square root of x, and therefore du is 1 over 2 square root of x dx. But remember, ideally we want to write everything in terms of u, but square root of x is just u, so it's 1 over 2 u d, d, dx, sorry. And therefore, solving this, we get dx equals to 2 u du. And finally, this 1 plus x, well, that's 1 plus square root of x squared, and that becomes 1 plus u squared. Which tells you that your answer is, again, still this x arctangent of square root of x. And now, let's have fun. So minus the integral, square root of x becomes u dx becomes 2u du, and then we have 2 times 1 plus x, which becomes 2 times 1 plus u squared. This cancels out. And then we in fact have x arctangent of square root of x minus integral of u squared over, if you want, u squared plus 1 du. And the question is, well, how do you calculate this? It's easy to calculate this, the integral of 1 over u squared plus 1. That's arctangent. So let's just add and subtract 1. It's a mean little math trick. Arctangent of square root of x minus integral of u squared plus 1 minus 1 
over u squared plus 1, du. And then we have x, arctangent of square root of x. And now let's split this up. Minus integral of u squared plus 1 over u squared plus 1 plus integral of 1 over u squared plus 1. Again, du, du, whatever. And then you have x, arctangent of square root of x, minus integral of 1 du, minus the integral of 1 over u squared plus 1 du. And then, turns out, those things, sorry, here's a plus, those things are easy to evaluate. In fact, let's do that. In fact, it equals to x arctangent of square root of x minus x, minus u, sorry, plus arctangent of u plus a constant, but remember u is just square root of x. So x arctangent of square root of x minus square root of x plus arctangent of square root of x plus a constant. Ta-da! How cool is that? I mean, it looks like a very complicated integral, but all we did was use uh, integration by parts and a u substitution. And if you like this integral and other fun math stuff, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.